Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is the first in a short series of videos that I'm uh, doing to uh, explore the use of vectors in uh, the Unreal Engine. Um, and we're going to kick this off by uh, having an explanation of what vectors are um, and to try and uh, you know, deal with this concept to try and help you understand what's going on here. Um, so uh, I will confess that it is maths, and I think that some people find uh, maths a little daunting. Don't worry, we're not going to really be dealing with a lot of uh, stuff to do with numbers. Um, as a, a tiny bit of letters, so that might look like algebra, maybe, but it's not. Um, the concept is actually a fairly easy concept to to get your head around. And once you do, it's a really useful tool. So uh, here we go. Um, <clears throat> so most of this video, let's just uh, uh, introduce this uh, and say that, uh, yeah, most of this video uh, is not going to be in the Unreal Engine. It's about what is the concept of a vector. And then we'll start exploring what vectors are used for. But over the rest of the series, uh, we'll go in more depth into both how Unreal uses uh, vectors and how they're used in terms of uh, thinking about simulating the real world. Um, and full confession, this series of videos is effectively a repeat of a series that I did for Unreal 4.26. So it's just updating it to 5.4. Um, and um, yeah, I'm fond of the sound of my own voice and like uploading things. So I'm doing it again. Here we go. And vectors uh, are really useful. So, right, vectors are a mathematical idea. So there is no such thing as a real vector. You can't walk down the street and point to a vector and, and say, there, look, there's a vector, um, like you can do with uh, with dogs and uh, uh, roads and hippopotamuses, things like that. Um, they're a mathematical idea, um, a concept that we use uh, as part of our ways of understanding the world and what's going on around us. And so it's part of the kind of physics and maths space. Uh, actually, most of maths and physics really at heart is, is like this. It's about uh, creating ideas that will help us understand what's going on in the world and um, particularly help us to predict what might happen in certain circumstances. And we've got so good at this that we can build cars and bridges and uh, aeroplanes and things like that, which are all based on these uh, constructs uh, that have been developed that help us describe uh, the world around us. Uh, so vectors are one of these constructs uh, that helps us do this. Not all maths uses vectors, and, uh, but all vectors are maths. Um, they are a really useful tool, and they're particularly useful for us in games uh, for two reasons. So the first is that they're really, really helpful in terms of doing simulation of uh, the the real uh, simulation of the real world, uh, particularly things like physics and um, stuff like that, and trying to work out uh, things like uh, which direction is an enemy facing in? Are you within a cone of vision uh, of it? Uh, where can it move to? How far away? Are, how far apart are two things? Do they collide? And, all sorts of questions like that, and then you get into light, and vectors become really useful. And then the whole rendering of uh, 3D scenes onto your screen actually is done uh, with, uh, there's a lot of vector, uh, vectors and matrix maths going on. We're not going to uh, dive into matrices, don't worry about that. Okay, so uh, this is a vector. Uh, actually, it's not, I'm lying to you, this is an arrow. This is a representation of the concept of a vector that can be drawn on uh, on a uh, well, 2D screen, in this case. Uh, and it has two important qualities or properties. It's got a length and it's got a direction. Okay. So, it's generally speaking, when you're drawing diagrams with vectors, they're shown as arrows. Uh, and they can be uh, useful in 2D or 3D. So naturally here, because I'm on a 2D screen, I'm be using 2D drawing diagrams. When you're using the real because it's a 3D environment, you've got three-dimensional vectors. Uh, again, they could be represented uh, by an A in the 3 uh, So vectors are useful for expressing all sorts of different things. One of the 
the possible confusions that arises about vectors is that not all vectors represent the same thing. So vectors are useful for any concepts that we have that have both a length and a direction. Um, and there's all sorts of uses outside uh, of this kind of physical space model and stuff that uses vectors as well. But we're going to be using them predominantly for things that we can probably mostly understand in terms of the real world around us. So I have to go from one place to another. Um, velocity of something, acceleration. Um, and uh, forces, and we'll deal with these all in later uh, videos in this series. Um, they're not useful for expressing things that only have a size or only have a number. So weight, uh, you now you could say weight is a vector and it goes downwards, but actually that's the pull of gravity, so let's not. Uh, temperature, just temperature of a direction. No, it doesn't. Speed. Uh, so interestingly, speed... Uh, is very closely related to the concept to velocity, but velocity is speed in a certain direction. So if I'm driving down a road, as long as I'm driving in the right direction down the road, that's a good thing. Uh, but if my speed is above the speed limit, then I might get caught and there might be uh, issues, points, all sorts of things might happen. And uh, that is regardless of the direction in which uh, I am travelling, of course. It's assumed that I'm travelling in the right direction down the road and not kind of sideways, because that would be silly. Um, <clears throat> what else? Distance. Uh, so the distance from, um, from let's pick something out of the air, the distance from London to Edinburgh is 300 miles, but the distance from London to Paris is I don't know what. Um, it's in a different direction, but you can draw a 300-mile radius and there'll be all sorts of other places that are 300 miles away from London. Um, so distance only gives you part of that picture. But distance sometimes is useful um, because it can tell you, for example, how far you might be able to transmit radio waves. Uh, energy. Uh, how much energy something has. Energy is a strange concept anyway. Um, so when we've got a vector, we can draw it as, a, um, as an arrow, but actually to do more precise use of it. We're not going to try and draw it exactly to scale. To scale does always mean something. But we usually express a vector as um, a set of numbers between brackets. We're going to express them as Cartesian coordinates, because this is the normal thing to do. So don't be thrown off by this word Cartesian. Uh, it's a mathematical word, and it actually comes from René Descartes, and it means, because he invented these things, uh, René Descartes is uh, the guy who famously said, I think, therefore I am. Um, but he also invented coordinates. Uh, and so you've possibly seen them in graphs or on maps, uh, coordinates that basically give you two numbers, and they're usually um, uh, two numbers with a, uh, a bracket, a number, a comma, a number, and then a, a close bracket. And we express vectors as if the bottom end was at the origin, at 0, 0, and we express the amount that the vector has in each of the axes we've been talking about. So give the coordinate for the end arrow, and here we go. I'm, I'm aware there's a bit of slight hand going on here, and I will explain that in a minute. Uh, so we're going to use the bottom as 0, 0, and the top we're going to call x, y. Oh, we haven't got some numbers, but let's we'll do an example in a second, which means it's x amount along the x um, uh, axis and y amount along the y axis. And we could get to the same position. Now, let's imagine we're using a position vector here. If we walked along an x axis, x amount, and then along a y axis by y amount, we would get to the point that the, the end of the vector points to. Um, so here's a, an example with numbers. We've got four and two, and it could be miles, it could be centimeters. Um, and uh, in fact, when it's uh, uh, when we're not talking about distance, it could be other things. Um, however, I, I said before that there's a little bit of sleight of hand going on here. And uh, what that is, is that um, although we are expressing our vector in terms of these things, an origin, and the axes, which are things kind of 
conceptual lines that are perpendicular to each other. If you're in the real world, where's the axis for the real world? And at some point when you're going to express things in vectors, you need to decide what you're going to use, what point in space you're going to use as your arbitrary axis, and which directions you're going to use as your arbitrary uh, uh, sorry, your, your axis are your arbitrary origin. Where's your arbitrary origin? Which lines that don't actually exist in space are your arbitrary um, directions? Uh, sorry, uh, axes. And when you're doing stuff in the real world, it's quite common to use, for example, north, south, east, west. So north, south might be uh, the y axis, east, west might be the x axis, and um, up, down as the the Z axis. So up down is the most easily definable one because you hold a piece of string with a weight on the end and it shows you a direction that goes directly down. Um, now, uh, if you're a person who believes in the, uh, the theory that the Earth is flat, then you will realize that you will think that this works uniformly across the whole surface of the of the world. If you realize, like most people, that the world is round, then once you start getting into the large numbers, these coordinates fall but for small distances, the, the differences are, are negligible. When you're in the Unreal Engine, Unreal has decided for you where the origin are and where these axes are, uh, which is handy. Because then when you use position vectors and uh, you know velocity vectors and stuff, it's all in relation to the Unreal uh, set of uh, parameters here. So the Unreal origin and the Unreal axes. Apologies if that kind of jump into the, the fact that, the, as well as vectors being a theoretical concept, so is the idea of an axis, and so are it's, as the idea of axes and an origin. Uh, they're all theoretical as well, and it's theory built on theory. So apologies if that bamboozled you a bit. Here's another example of a vector, and uh, we're still using the screen coordinates effectively, um, and I've got an arbitrary uh, origin here. And in this uh, occasion, our x is a negative number. And yes, we can have negative numbers in vectors because our vector from our uh, origin, wherever that is, can go in any direction. And so we use negative numbers in both the uh, x and the y to express that. So effectively, this is it. If you've got the idea that you uh, have got uh, a vector is something that has a direction and uh, a length, and you might be using any kind of uh, set of origin and, co uh, and uh, axes and sets of coordinates to express things that might be in different units. you basically got the idea. Let's just uh, push on a little bit. In 3D, of course, we need three numbers. So we've got X, Y, and Z. Uh, here's an example, 3, 4, minus 7.5. Okay. Uh, the good news is... Unreal does all the maths for us, so we don't actually need to know much about how to manipulate these things and how to do uh, maths, uh, vector maths. What we really need to know is we need to understand what the vectors are that are being used and how they're used so that we know what we need and so we know how to script using vectors uh, to use them to the best advantage. So just to round off this video, I'm going to do a very quick uh, demonstration of uh, some of the most basic uh, use of vectors in the Unreal Engine, just to kind of introduce you to what they look like in Unreal, basically. Um, and what I've got here is I've got a blueprint. Uh, it's not important what the blueprint does, to be honest. Uh, it's just a little pad that triggers something. Um, and I'm going to add a variable. And so in Unreal, a vector is a data type. So I'm just going to call this my shiny vector. Why not? Um, and uh, I'm going to change the type to vector. There we go. So in Unreal, vectors are yellow. They're the only thing, I think, that will appear as yellow data type. Uh, so, yeah, great. Um, so I'm just going to compile that so that I get a default value. In fact, I'm going to uh, make it a public variable. I don't know why I didn't need to do that. And if at the moment, my shiny vector is 0, 0, 0. And I'm just going to put 10, 20, 
35.5. Okay. So, um, I can do various things with this. I, I, like any variable, I can uh, set it and I can get it. And I can do, um, uh, actually, let's see what happens if I try and uh, split struct bin. So, uh, there are a couple of ways I can get to the component parts of this vector. One of them is to split the pin, and I just get the individual bits there. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of that so I can try this again. Another one is to break. So, if you type in break, break vector, it does that as a node. Um, and if I want to know what's in my vector, I can just print this out, which is why I've done this by the uh, begin play. So, if I do print string add. Plug the vector in there. We'll do an auto, put an automatic conversion in for me, and I'm just going to tweak the amount of time that this is on screen up to 10 seconds. Um, hopefully, when I play that vector, which is that um, variable, is up here, and it tells us x equals 10, y equals 20, z equals 35. Okay. The vectors are yellow. You can break them, you can constitute them. Let's just show that. Um, so if I want to set my shiny vector, I can either do that by having a full yellow vector that I pull in, or I can, can I break it here? Split struct bin, I'm not going to do it on here, or I can do um, make, make vector. <coughs> Interesting, make vector net quantize. I have no idea what that is. I just want make vector, which is down here. Often find when I plug things in, uh, get all sorts of uh, strange nodes that I don't know what to do with. Um, so this uh, will set this vector. We're not using it for anything yet. It's just a vector that's a mathematical construct. And at this point, because it's not being used for anything within the game, it actually has no meaning. It is just a, a, a construct. In the same way that the number 10 doesn't have a meaning until you assign it to something. What does your 10 mean? It might be miles from here to the nearest chemist. Or it might be the number of apples I've got in my bag. Or it might be the number on uh, the door of um, a house in Downing Street that some poor unfortunate person is going to have to occupy in a few months' time. Uh, so 10 itself doesn't have any uh, real-world meaning until you assign it to something. In the same way, a vector uh, doesn't have a meaning until you actually use it for something. Anyway, in the rest of this uh, series of videos, we'll see an awful lot more about vectors. That's it from me for now.